telecast system. Austin Kingsbury and I'm the head high school football coach and track coach here at Concordia High School. Uh, during the day I am the high school weights and PE instructor. How long have you been coaching football or all the sports in general? Uh, I've been coaching now at the high school level going into my seventh year. Uh, I had two years of college coaching prior to that and I played four years of college football. What are you looking forward to for this football season this year? Uh, I think, you know, with a new football season, the anticipation of just uh, the potential of, you know, of success is, is always exciting. You know, there's new guys that are, that are filling old roles that, uh, you know, that are graduating seniors left. So it's always fun to see, you know, what kids are going to step up into what positions and then just, you know, the anticipation of, you know, right now, Everybody in the state's undefeated, so it's exciting to know, uh, you know, that first game, what's going to happen. For me, because this will be the labor of my love. Here we are on the way What do you love about football? Uh, you know, I love all, all sports, to be honest with you. Football is, is unique because there's so many, um, there's so many moving parts. And it really takes, you know, 11 guys on any di given play doing their job, you know, to make a, a play or a game successful. So, you know, making sure that, that everybody's on the, on the same page. But, you know, it just really um, speaks to the nature of the game and how everybody on the teams is important and everybody's role uh, in what they do with practice, you know, sideline and during a game, you know, how important all those moving parts are. Why did you decide to coach football? Uh, my coaching journey was kind of interesting. I, you know, I found myself in my first year of college, or my second year of college, actually. Sorry, not doing a, not doing a very good job with school, and I was about ready to move home and, and work with my dad. And I got a call to um, continue playing football, and that opportunity, you know, led me to kind of continue to pursue my, you know, my love of playing the sport of football. And then when I was done, I still had to finish up um, some school. So I'd finished my football career. Uh, I started being a graduate assistant with the college football team, and I just really fell in love with coaching, uh, coaching players, and you know how being a teacher, you know, can translate into coaching. And, and I just, I really fell in love with that process and decided that that was that was what I wanted to pursue. How does it feel to be coaching a, um, in 3A this year? I'm excited about the new classification. Not a lot of things changed. The uh, the playoff system is a little different, so you know that's exciting because it's new. Um, but I think it allows for more teams to get out of the district than in the past, which is you know hopefully beneficial to us because we've been in a really tough district, and I think it I think it'll help us out. But you know we do have one new team on the on the schedule this year, so you know, it's exciting to play new schools and then you know have the opportunity to play some different ones if uh, you know if we uh, if we make it into the playoff or even just for our last game of the season. If you weren't a teacher or a coach, what would you be doing for a career? Uh, you know, if I hadn't finished my school, my dad owns his own plumbing business back in Smith Center. Uh, you know, I, I actually, you know, enjoy, um, you know, enjoyed working with my dad. Uh, that's tough, though. If you know, if I wouldn't have finished my schooling, that, that's probably what I'd be doing. Uh, you know, once upon a time, I wanted to be a, you know, I wanted to be an eye doctor, an optometrist. Uh, but I didn't take care of my grades as a freshman, so I kind of, I kind of, you know, hurt myself in, in that regard. But you know, I'm glad I'm doing what I'm doing, and I, I love doing what I'm doing, and uh, I enjoy coming to work every day. Who is someone you look to, up to as a role model? You know, obviously I've had a lot of role models in my life, whether it be coaches, uh, my family members. Probably the biggest one is my dad. Uh, and you know, when I think when you break everything down into what makes somebody successful, you know, nine times out of ten it's, it's hard work and doing the right thing. And he does those two things. And like I said, you know, he's a, he's a plumber. Uh, you know, he doesn't necessarily, you know, he's not uh, somebody that people look to for, uh, I don't know, various things in the community, but, you know, he works hard and he's always doing the right thing and he instilled that in me and you know that's you know I like to say that's why you know I've, I've had some of the successes I've had in life with being able to finish school and doing those things because uh, you know of what he taught me and instilled in me uh, and it's been helpful so I always look up to him. Okay. Uh, where did you coach before you uh, decided to come to Concordia? 
Okay, so my previous stop was at Larned, Kansas, which is southwest of Great Bend. It's kind of south central Kansas, and I coached there for three years as the defensive coordinator. Um, you know, and I really enjoyed my time there. It's a similar size community as Concordia and similar size school. Um, and then pre prior to that, I was at uh, Sterling College as a graduate assistant with the college football team. Hi, uh, I'm Dylan Reed. I'm Tristan Yokums. I'm Brock Quillen. I'm Tanner Smith. I'm Trayton Kendall, and I'm a senior in football, obviously. How long have you been uh, playing football? Uh, I started my fourth grade year, and I played Salvation Army football until I'm a senior now. Well, I've been playing football since probably about fourth or fifth grade. Um, yeah, just fourth or fifth grade. Uh, this will be my fourth year. I played all four years of high school, so. Uh, I've been playing football since fourth grade. So. Uh, I played freshman year, uh, skipped sophomore year, and started playing again my junior year, playing again this year. What are you looking forward to this football season? Uh, I'm looking forward to just getting out there with the, our new team, the new turf, new facility. Looks real nice. Can't wait to get out there and play on it. Uh, getting to play my last senior year of football with the guys that I've been playing with for so long. Uh, look forward to hopefully a better record than the past couple seasons. Hoping to uh, look to get some uh, new titles with the new uh, league and everything. Um, hopefully we can win some more games than we did last year. Um, we're looking pretty good on the line and we have some good running backs and I think we should be a good team. Um, hope we have a lot of potential so I'm hoping we can have a pretty good year. Get a lot of wins, I guess. What do you love about football? Uh, the contact, I love getting to play with everybody and quote unquote as a family. Uh, I love the hard work, um, the work that people put in and then throughout the week and then get on Friday and get, get a reward out of it like getting the uh, win or the uh, overtime win or getting just a reward out of the game. And I love, what I love about football is about how it just brings a bunch of guys together and just how all these guys are your brothers and it's just a fam family mindset. I just love the camaraderie and being part of more than just like a big team. It's like a band of brothers. I love the physica phys oh my gosh. <laughs> physical, um, I just love how you go out there and you can hit people and they're your friends. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be different because we don't play Chapman or play center, but I don't think it's going to be not too bad, I guess you could say. Uh, it, uh, I don't think it'll feel much different, but I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope we can win a bunch of games this year and see how far we can go. We played Lomigo in the past, so that's uh, another team that's coming back, but um, I think overall it's going to be the same. We just need to keep practicing. and. Watch film. Um, it's going to be new. Uh, there's a couple new teams. Um, we're going to have to learn some new things. Uh, we might have a, a better chance. We play teams in different orders this year, so um, we're not playing Beloit first. We play Wamigo, so we're going to have to figure out like how teams are going to play and without watching them play before us. So we'll just have to uh, learn the new uh, teams, and, and, and we're going to just go on with the season.